The difference in part E is that I did not give it to you in vector form. I gave you this polynomial in standard form. So in order to get a picture of this g of x, what we want to do is see if we can factor it into a factor form, because once we have the factor form, we can get a pretty quick sketch of these. So what factors out is an x cubed? We're left with an x squared plus 3x minus 10. This quadratic factor factors again. It factors into x and x plus and minus plus 5 minus 2. So this is the factor form of our function g of x. So we have some multiplicity in our factors, and we also have um, some linear. So this is our z our x cubed means we have a 0 at 0. An x plus 5 factor means we have a 0 at negative 5. And an x minus 2 means we have a, a 0 at 2. So I want to make sure that these get placed on my number line right away. So I want to graph 0. I want to graph a negative 5. So that's going to be in here. And I also want to graph a positive 2. So those are the beginnings of my graph. I know it's a fifth degree polynomial, and as such, it has to be an S shape. And because it's positive, it'll start low and finish high. So I know I'm going to start low here, and I will finish my graph on a high side on the right. Now I want to pay attention to my multiplicities. This was a multiplicity of 1. That was a multiplicity of 1. And this is a multiplicity of 3. So it's got to be S shaped by my 0. So it's got to be an S shape there. Those are a little bit fat, but then these should just be linears or crossing. So it's going to cross at 5. Then it's got to come back towards 0, and it's got to flatten and cross. And then it's going to come right back through 2 and look more like a line. So that is the general appearance of that graph based on its factorization and multiplicity and its degree. degree.